Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for the very first part of the Island Paradise Let's Play. Now I am beyond excited to do this for you guys. I have literally been waiting for this moment for probably, I don't know, whenever they announced it. Um, I'm not really like a, a, a an aquatic lover, I guess. This is definitely more my sister's turf, but I have already taken a peek into this world and oh my goodness, this could totally change my perception on everything like I am excited for the the mermaids the beach life the hot beach boys the life gods help me I'm drowning all that stuff like I am so excited and um, I just I just want to go ahead and jump right in so this is obviously part one we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of an intro here we're gonna do a quick preview of the world and jump into create a sim and get this family started so the brand new world is called Isla Paradiso and I think that name is Perfect, perfect for this world. The description reads, an archipelago of islands surrounded by tranquil seas, Isla, Isla, <laughs> Paradiso is a place for relaxation, recreation, and exploration. Indulge with a stay at a resort, an adventurous boat cruise, or scuba dive into the depths in search of hidden wonders. Where will your adventures take you? I don't know, but this family that I have created, I am really, really, really excited to play. Um, they basically have an amazing history that's going to fit right in to the theme of Island Paradise. So let's go ahead and jump right in to Isla Paradiso so I can show you guys this brand new world. Alrighty, so here we are in Isla Paradiso, a little slice of paradise. This is just going to be a quick landscape overview, and of course I will go in more in depth once we, you know, progress through the game. I just want to show you all a, a little sneak peek. This is the main island, and there are a lot of your, your necessities here, like your town hall, your festival center for those who have seasons, um, you have your cinema, things like that. There are also a couple really cool high-end and resorts here. This is the hospital and stadium. Um, and then there are a whole bunch of like little islands and this is the back of the main island. There's a waterfall, things like that. There is a more, well, I guess second larger island that is actually connected to the mainland and it looks a little something like this. And these are a few of the really cute little little boat houses attached to the docks, which are really exciting. Um, so that's what that looks like. Now you're gonna notice these little patches of clouds, and that, my friends, is where the uncharted islands hide. So there's a lot to explore, and um, the ones that are uncovered are obviously ones that people have already discovered. Over here is another pretty large island, but you're gonna either have to jet ski, boat, or figure your way out out how to get to it. So for those who live on this island and work on this one, you're gonna need some sort of uh, quick means of actual transportation. And this island is like, it's like a little world. I love it. I like how it's like all oh, its own little city. It's so personal and cute and quaint. I love it so much. Um, so that one is that. There's some smaller islands and things like that over off into the distance here. And someone's house, I think this is a house. I'm not actually really sure what this is. Let me see. Um, I don't know what this is. I think it may be the science center or something like that. I don't know, but that's really cool. You have a lot of beautiful places that you can explore. Like even over here, like how freaking gorgeous is this landscape? Like how beautiful? I don't know if you can actually explore it. So it doesn't look like you can, but um, maybe you can. I don't know, but it's really pretty. And here's some more uncharted islands and things like that that. So I think that's a pretty good sneak peek. We're going to go ahead and jump into create a sim so I can tell you about the new family and also show you most if not all of the new duds. So let's start with the little ones and work our way up. This is Carly as a baby, but these aren't the sims we're playing with. Actually, the first two here are going to be our sims. So this is Carly from my university um, LP as a as a baby toddler. Now, a lot of these clothes are absolutely freaking cute for the kids. I would have loved to see maybe a few more things added for the boy toddlers since there isn't because it's just this outfit here, which I wouldn't put on a boy, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, Carly's wearing one of the new bathing suits along with the little floaties for the arms. There's also a new cute little dress, which I love. And last but not least is this little one piece right here, which is also extremely, extremely 
freaking cute. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the child boys, just because there isn't anything that you haven't already seen for the men, uh, the boy toddlers. If I do forget things, it's going to happen. There's a lot to show, but I'm just trying to show you guys what I can at least remember to anyway. So anyways, moving along here, I'm just going to filter, filter this out really quick. So there are quite a few new tops for the uh, for the boys here. Um, different variations, different patterns, styles, which is exciting to see. They have um, little life vests as well, which look really cool. Um, the boys also get a pair of floaties, and I think there are some new shorts or new short variations. Um, so those are those. Let's just make sure that I didn't forget anything in accessories. Nope. So for swimwear, all you really get is just a life jacket, and then you would have to use whatever you had in um, in your other games. Oh, and you also get a pair of snorkels. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll just leave him looking like this. We're going to move on to the child um, or the girl kids or whatever. This is Carly as a kid. Yeah, she's our she's our little model today. Um, as you can see, this is the full dress, which is really cute. I kind of like it. It's very um, pilgrimish. I always say that about clothes. <laughs> it looks like a pilgrim, but yeah, that's the full dress here. Uh, let's check out the tops really quick. Um, again, a lot of the same things you saw with the boys. I'll just show you guys real fast. Here are a few different cool little things here. I love this top, it's really awesome. And I love the fact that uh, you get to um, have the blank ones as well. And this is the only new hairstyle for the girls. The boys didn't come with anything new, which was sad, but nor did, nor did the toddlers, nor did the toddlers. <laughs> so here are some also, uh, some here are some new tops. Oh my gosh, so tongue-tied. I love the fact that you have the same top, but in so many different patterns. Like, I love it to death. Here are a few more. Ah, oh, these are adorable. The girls really lucked out on this one. I love it. And again, same little life jacket that you saw earlier. I don't think there are any new shoes. Uh, if we go ahead and move on to the swimwear, I think everything might be the same. Um, they do get one full outfit here, which is pretty cool. I didn't see that for the boys, but you never know. I could be wrong. Um, and then also floaties and snorkel gear. So we'll leave Carly just like that, and we'll move on to the teens. Um, the boys get some cool new hair. I think they pretty much share this with the younger sure. adults and older adults and all that mess. This is just some random, random sim. I don't really know who he is or where he came from, but uh, I just I just have him. I really like the tops here. Um, there's a lot of, again, different variations, same top, which is cool. Spice it up just a little. And these are pretty much the same for the older guys as well, but... I'll just go ahead and kind of filter through those for you. Uh, moving on to the bottoms here. I think there's a lot of new options. You get a lot of cool new shorts and things like that. Very funky, some very boho-ish, a little beach hippie, um, just all different types of styles, which I love. No new shoes, um, kind of a, a slight disappointment. Uh, you do get a couple new accessories or I think just one new thing um, a new pair of really interesting looking sunglasses if we go into the hairstyles I'll show you guys those really quick um, I think there are four new hairstyles or yeah four um, and these are exactly the same for the older men as well so you have this kind of like beachy I don't care you know, I've got sand in my hair, hair, <laughs> um, the, the funzy beach dude. I was going to say beach dude douche because that kind of looks like it. Um, a couple variations of these dread looking things. This one reminds me of Kyle, <laughs> but I'm not going to put it on him. Don't worry. But yeah, those are that. And I think that's pretty much it for the teen boys. If we go back into the clothing, there might be um, the short options available for the swimming 
I'm not 100% sure. Going back into swimwear, you do get a lot more options for the teen boys. You have some snorkel gear like the kids, uh, those sweet sunglasses and other variations of like diving stuff. Uh, for the shoes, you get a pair of cool scuba gear or scuba gear flip-flops. What are these? These are not flip-flops, Jennifer. The flip is, I think, maybe. Um, if you wanted just to stick to the additional shorts, you have a couple Ooh. options mm -hmm. down here as well, and you can mix and match and just have total fun with it. So I think that's officially it for the men or the boys. They're not really men yet. Moving on to the teen girls, this is actually going to be one of our Sims in the current LP. I will tell you about their family history a little bit later, and it will also be in the description bar below. This is Simone, and I think she is absolutely breathtaking. She's going to be our little model for the teen section here. There are a few, or actually there's four to be more specific, new hairstyles, just the regular ones, and they look a little something like this. They will also be available for the young adults and the adults, I believe. So this is another little hairstyle. It kind of reminds me of something from World Adventures a little bit, but it's very choppy and, and beachy and almost carefree. This one here is definitely one of my favorite hairstyles just because of the little braiding detail and things like that. I love how detailed this is, and it's just, it's just so cute. This last one here is a little more on the uh, shorter side. So that's what that looks like. If you go into the hair with accessories, there are also a few new options there as well. Um, you get this cool little hairstyle in different colors. And you also get this one, which she is currently wearing. I love, love, love this hairstyle. This one here is also really freaking cool. It kind of reminds me of a hairstyle you'd get in Hawaii. And it honestly, it looks good. I think they could have definitely botched this one, and I'm really happy they didn't because this is this is just in a really cool style. It's unique, it's different, and it looks great with the beach bathing suits. Um, you also have some of these cool little hats here and things like that. And although we didn't check the boys, um, the boys section, I think in the hats part department or whatever, um, there probably are some of the same options there as well. So. That is Simone for you. If we go into the clothing section, I'll show you guys what's available there as well. Um, one thing I will note is I'm having some problems ever since I installed this game and the patch and oh my goodness with my menu. So sometimes it disappears and I have to like fix it and uh, it's just a big mess. So pardon me. Here are the tops in the everyday section. You get quite a few new accessories. Wow. Now her tots are like strangely deformed and by tots I mean her, her breastuses. So the, the shirts look a little strange on her, um, but I, I don't know why that is. So there's that. I really love these. These are so cool. Um, the lace detail is nice. I like this one too. It's very cool. It has like a, I think maybe it's just a regular tank and then has some fringe detailing at the bottom. Uh, you have some more styles over here. Kind of cool and fancy. And uh, that's what I mean by tots or deformed. I don't know. Your shirts huh. will not look like that. Yeah. <laughs> So this one's really cool too, I like it. It's kind of like this one, but a little more cash. Um, and then you have some life yeah. vests that will look pretty cool when you're on the uh, the jet skis there. If we go into the um, everyday bottom, there's just one Ooh, new uh, piece, and that is this little kind of frilly dress here. And her feet are glitching a mile a minute. I don't know why, but they just are. Uh, there's a couple few new full outfits. I love this dress. This is really cute. Whoa, I don't know why it looks like this on her. <laughs> I, she's skinny. I don't know. She just she's got body malfunction problems, girl. I don't know. She looks all bloated. Uh, but this one here is really cool. I love this. This is just so like carefree. I love it. I really do. Um, let's see if there's any new shoes. Nope. Let's go into accessories before I forget. Um, and same thing with the teen boys. Just a new pair of glasses. Um, if we go into the swim section, there may be a few new things there. Um, I think this is, maybe this is, no, no, it's not, okay. Um, so this is what the, the girls have. Um, and then they also get like a little diving scuba gear outfit sort of thing. And this is the hair on her, I love it so much. Um, flip flops, or <laughs> uh, what is it? Oh my gosh, really? Flippers as well, and then in accessories, I think it's pretty much the same as the teen boys. Um, just more girly, feminine colors here, so. 
that's that. Alrighty, if we go into the adult females, I will show you guys what's available for them as well. I think it's pretty much the same thing that you guys have seen. Um, same hairstyles, same everything, but of course it doesn't hurt to double check and be thorough. So yeah, exact same hairstyles that you guys saw earlier. Nothing new here. Just looks a little different on an older sim. Um, exact same uh, hairstyles or hair with accessories. Um, this little cap is pretty, pretty fancy. <laughs> I've personally never worn one of those in a day in my life, but they look quite cozy. Um, there is a ton of new everyday wear for the females, like a ton and I love just about every single piece and that is really hard to do uh, so great job team I must say <laughs> this one here is one of my favorites I love it it's like a little uh, kind of like a swimwear outfit but with a pullover on top it's just really cool I love the detailing on it it looks so nice I love it I love it I love it um, here's a new little beach dress it's too cute very sweet, simple, and adorable. Uh, over here is the one she was wearing. It's kind of like hippie boho chic. Like, is that even a style? It is now. <laughs> but this is a really nice outfit. Uh, we've got a couple more dresses here. And then we can see this one on a properly formed body. I guess it looks just as strange almost. And these are the only new um, shoes that you get. If we go into separates, I'll show you guys that as well. Man, I am really trying to show you guys everything, so I'm sorry if this is boring. Feel free to skip on through. I know I would probably be drooling at this point, but you know, if you're interested in seeing the styles, it's worth it. Okay, here is a new top. This is sexy, like, whoa, talk about revealing. Holy cleavage, like seriously, whoa. <laughs> Jeez, girl, pulling out all the steps. And this is another little tank top, similar to the one that you guys kind of saw in the teen section. I love these. Like, I don't think I've seen <laughs> these yet, but they are too cool. I love them. Ooh, these are so pretty. And this is kind of like the other style that we just saw. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to get so much use out of these tops. It's crazy. Um, we've already seen that one. I think the, this one we've seen as well. This might be a new style here. I love it. These are really adorable. Whoa, mm. go girl. Like, damn, there's no shame in her game. <laughs> Why even wear the jacket at that point, seriously? Um, yeah, there's a couple new little like crop top jacket things with um, the little bandos underneath. This one's a little strange. So that those are a few of the tops, or actually all the tops. If we go into bottoms, I can probably show you what is available there. Um, there's a couple new options. I feel like the women got more than enough clothing, like more than enough. Like they are stocked, like, and cute yeah. styles too. Yeah. Just so many different cute little things that mm. I love. And I know yeah. my sons are gonna get a lot of use out of on the beach, so I like that. This one, he is a little strange. Not a fan of this one at all, but you know, beggars cannot be choosers. And personally, I'm just grateful to have this game. So I really don't even care at this point. Here are a few new lifeguard um, goodies. Just like the little, um, this is like the little uh, whistle or whatever, but. So literally at the very last moment, I forgot to show you guys the young adult or just adult females swimwear in general. Like I don't know how I forgot. It's probably my favorite clothing out of this whole entire expansion. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now using Carly Berman from my university Let's Play. There are a few lifeguard jackets like you guys have seen a million times. Also some really cool life guard um, t-shirts and things like that the bottoms there are a few new yeah. pairs of like shorts and things like that that you could either use with um, you know the life uh, the life jackets or you know maybe your own um, <clears throat> swimwear top or whatever there are quite a few new full options and I love them so 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 much like this bathing suit here is the ultimate like ultimate sexy bathing suit like i love this so much i just love the way it wraps around the body the little detailing it looks so stylish so designer i really really like it this one too is also really sexy like look at this detailing like i would 
totally wear something like this and I really like the fact that it's kind of like a a like short short detail and then it has like the the peekaboo um, cutouts on the side and then wraps up on the top here it's just really nice um, this one here is just kind of more basic for your conservative not really even your conservative sims but your sims that don't like that extra pizzazz in their life but that is that um, you also have a scuba scuba diving kind of outfit which is really really cool I like these um, let's see if there's any new shoes. Of course, you also have these little flipper thingy mo bobbers. And then um, I think just like every other sim in almost every category, you have uh, the lifeguard glasses and then scuba snorkel gear and more scuba snorkel, snorkel, snorkel gear. <laughs> and of course, you have your lifeguard whistle quite the getup so if i forgot anything else i truly do apologize um but you know i wanted to show you most if not all of the new creative sim clothing but at least i got to show you this so i can sleep peacefully tonight I think that's pretty much it. In the last category we have, I'm not going to be showing you yeah, old grandpas and grandmas. You probably It's probably the exact same stuff. I don't think they made anything special for them. And if they did, you'll find out on your own soon enough. This is Chandler, our other um, sim in our new LP. He is Uncle Chandler to be exact. And uh, here are the new hairstyles for the men. Pretty much the same things you saw on the boys. And of course, they just look a little, a little more different, you know, being on a full grown, full grown dude. Um, you have some hairstyles or some other um, hair with accessories. I'm sure these are the exact same ones that would be on the teens, you know, give or take a few, but um, pretty much probably the same thing. So those are that. I'm going to go ahead and put him back in his previous hair and jump in onto the clothing. There are also, I think, a couple new traits and lifetime wants uh, pertaining to the seasons, uh, or seasons, uh, Island Paradise. So I hopefully won't forget to show you guys those. But this is one of the brand new outfits from head to toe. And he is just working those guns, working it. Lifeguard, qual or lifeguard what was I going to say? Girl, I don't even know. I messed that up. What was I going to say? Lifeguard, I don't know, I don't know. Oh. Lifeguard what, lifeguard what? Quality, lifeguard, material, there we go. <laughs> Brain fart, yeah, he's lifeguard material for show. But yeah, these are some of the new uh, new little um, outfits or tops, I guess, for the men. I got a lot of different styles. I think a lot of these pertain to like the new like Spanish themes as well. Um, so you have some like, you know, like I said, boho, uh, beach bum clothing, and then you have some Spanish themes, which are actually for the, um, uh, resorts and things like that for, um, I think, uh, that you can set uniforms and stuff. So that's what that is for. I'm, I'm getting a little smarter in my, my day and age, I must say. <laughs> I remember in my previous LPs, I would criticize the hell out of these clothes, be like, what is this for? What is this for? And you all would be like, Jen, that is for this, or... You know, the the, hat, the hot dog hat is because of, you know, things like that. So y'all have kept me in check, and I, I appreciate that. So here's some new shorts. I love them. And his kadunk kadunk looks great in them, so A plus for that. And we actually have some new pants, so this is cool. They're a little, a little strange. Can't say I'm digging those at all, but uh, those are what they look like. Now if we go into the full outfits, I think they ain't going to be any dresses or anything like that. Um... But looks like there's nothing, to be honest. And no new sapatos or anything like that in the everyday category. Uh, but same little lifeguard uh, whistle. You, you can blow my whistle any day, boo-boo. Mm -hmm, yes, you can. <laughs> and some glasses for the dudes as well. Okay. Now, the only other thing I think there would be is swimwear. So we're going to go ahead and check Super. that out. All right, uh, there's some new shirts that you just saw. They're just available in the swimwear category. Uh, let's see, we got some some shorts, which I've been dying, dying to get because the other shorts, it's either nut hugger speedo or short short, ultra short shorts. Which one? Take your pick. Like it's it's finally you know happening that they have shorts that look a little more appropriate on the beach, okay? My Sims are not fans of Speedos, just saying. But yeah, pretty much the same scuba gear and <gasps> flippers. And then uh, we have some snorkeling gear. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the new traits really quick. Oh wow, 
sudden burst of fastness on the computer, finally. Uh, one of the new lifetime wants I know of, off the top of my hand, or my head, um, is the Grand Explorer. And basically, you want to own all the Uncharted Islands. The two new traits, there could be more, but these are the ones that Jennifer saw with her, her, her sights. Uh, the first one is Loves to Swim. These sims are like fish in the sea and gain a special joy by being in the agua. Uh, second one is Sailor. Sailors love the open sea and would much rather be on a boat than an island. And yes, these are Chandler's traits and his lifetime wish is to be a grand explorer. His favorites are um, tri-tip steak. He loves the color yellow. There's no new color um, colors to pick that I'm aware of anyway. There are a few new music types like uh, I think no, I think that's already been in there. I think there's just beach party and island life. Um, I could be wrong. There could be more. That's what his voice sounds like. If we go back into Simone, I'll show you guys her traits and personality a little bit. Um, she says hi. She loves to swim. Her favorites are Goopy Cabanera. She loves some dark wave music. Her favorite color is aqua. That's her voice. And she is a Scorpio. And I do believe Chandler is an Aries. I'm not 100% sure. So, whew, that is it for Create a Sim. I'm going to read you guys the description of the family really quick if you are interested. And then we will get them set up. So, basically, the family history is Chandler here is your typical beach boy with a or is your typical beach boy with a rock and bod his fascination with island living has brought him to reside on the shores of isla paradiso uh chandler is focused on creating something out of himself being so busy he doesn't have much time for much else or whatever <laughs> recently that's had to change his only other brother, Carlos, recently passed away. Like Chandler, Carlos loved the ocean and deeply well, believed that Isla, Isla Paradiso contained magical creatures, mermaids. Even though the rest of the island thought he was crazy, that didn't stop Carlos from searching the ocean blue for these amazing myths. One day, while leaving his daughter Simone in the care of her brother, of his brother, um, Carlos set out on his most dangerous voyage yet. His old boat was in no shape for the 20-foot waves and destroyed his vessel. Surviving the accident, Carlos found a island where he tried desperately to survive. Zuzu. Eventually, the very thing Carlos treasured ended up taking his life. He died of starvation. Weeks later, they found Carlos, leaving Simone in the care of her uncle as her mother left her and her father when she was only a baby. So Chandler is the only known relative and being clueless as to how to raise a kid, let alone a teen, Chandler is more motivated to find these creatures and to create something beautiful in the name of his brother. So that is just the description of the family. Um, and that is pretty much create a sim and all that mess. So we are just gonna go ahead and go back into Island Paradise. I guess I'm just gonna end part one here and start jumping into part two and uh, we'll take it from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this part's a little boring, I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully you learned a little bit about the family, uh, got to see some of the creative sim outfits and got a sneak peek of Island Paradiso. So I will see you all in part two. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I will see you all in my very next Let's Play. Bye.